How there? My name is Mark Barnabas and welcome to an eye on privacy where we talk about data privacy issues that concern you. So have you heard a pitch or read a pitch that sounds something like this? Simple job available for anyone who wants to earn X amount of dollars. All we do is this, 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 this. Basically a very simple task. And when you apply for that particular job, um, usually the job article would ask you to make a deposit as uh, some form of collateral to start your job or to buy some materials and that is uh, makings of a job scam and this article caught my eye and this article just came out recently on the 7th of March in the Today newspaper in Singapore where 13 victims have fell prey for a job scam. Yes, it's a new variant but there have been several scams over the past few months where several uh, recruitment agencies will have got prospective employees to pay some money to this job hiring site that will promise them a high paying job. Of course it's a scam because most of these applicants will never see their money ever again. And this particular new scam was actually very interesting and it concerns the travel industry, an industry that I have been involved with for so many years. Now this new job scam was so interesting that even I might have just fallen for it because all the, uh, all the job employees do is to review uh, places that are online like what I do at Google. You know, I'm a one top 1% in, in Singapore for Google contributions and all you do is to just review certain locations and write articles about location and get paid. But the trick is this, the, 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 the catch is this, to begin the job apparently this uh, these applicants have to pay some money in advance. For what reason? I really cannot understand the logic, but, well, strangely, 13 victims lost $38,000 over a job scam. Unbelievable. And this one is even more exciting because they actually, the, job, the, the scammers impersonated a travel agency registered apparently under the Singapore Tourism Board. Uh, I must say I haven't checked that out yet, but this company is called Anywhere. A N Y W H R. So, well, it's kind of bad publicity for the company, but whatever the case, be very careful of job scammers. It's part of your education for cybersecurity. Do not give out your personal data. Do not uh, pay anything in advance. And over here, I have an article, or rather, a poster that is actually uh, shared by the Singapore Police Force. There, you know, beware of these easy commissions just like this particular scam here, there is no easy money in ladies and gentlemen and I'm, I have lost money before my fair share of lessons paid, tuition fee we call it. So be careful, do not pay these scammers and let them get away with it. Be very careful, be vigilant, check, 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 check and remember, protect your own personal data. And in doubt, please call and check for licenses or even the address, or maybe even pay them a visit. Come on, but for heaven's sake, Singapore is so darn small. Just pay them a visit and walk up to their office and see what they are really all about. So, this is Mark Barnabas. I'm here to warn you about these job scams. Be safe, learn about cyber hygiene, learn how to protect your data, and, well, be good, all right? Work hard. <laughs> yes, use your hands, do a proper job, okay? If you need to learn more, go and use your skills future and pick up more courses from the uh, Singap Skills Singapore. So my name is Mark Barnabas. I also created this game called Data Heist to educate the public on data protection and cyber hygiene. So feel free to contact me for more information on how you can grab your set and also how you can use it to educate your staff on cyber hygiene so that they prevent data breaches and also for students to educate them on this thing called cyber hygiene and data protection. So my name is Mark Barnabas. See you, be good and be safe.